On July 9th, people from all over Canada gathered in the Peace River Valley for the 11th annual Paddle for the Peace. Why? Because our government wants to spend over $9 billion to build Site C Dam, which would violate treaty rights, flood farmland, and many speculate could lead to the privatization and export of our fresh water. Over 400 people paddled down the Peace River in an act of solidarity with Treaty 8 First Nations and farmers. We sat down with Grand Chief Stuart Phillip on the riverbank and asked him to share his thoughts on the influence that young people can have in shaping the future of our country and the direction of our society. Well, I think young people need to know and understand that uh, history is calling, is calling on them to stand up and and uh, pick up the responsibilities of uh, caretaking Mother Earth. Um, and um, I think that um, young people know and understand that they're being called forward to um, to be part of this battle. And so there's a certain um, you know, a, a, a certain sense of, um, of underlying prophecy, if you will, with respect to what's going on. And, you know, I think young people are going to rise to the challenge and they're going to be um, very much part of this fight. And they are going to um, uh, create a different vision of the world and a different future for this world. The, the tired old ideas of colonialism that have, you know, been so prevalent for the last uh, 300 years, you know, have proven to be so terribly destructive. And uh, the ravages of climate change are absolutely undeniable. That um, you know, I have uh, faith that um, you know there is a historic, and um, I think there's a spiritual timeline as to what's happening. So I'm I'm hugely optimistic. We're going to win. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.